focus. The Lord is King. Is it not amazing how a tiny virus scares vast number of people out of their wits? Pandemics are among the many upheavals which terrify humans and which Jesus tells us not to fear. The only reason not to fear is God, who is in full control of everything. The first reading presents Christ the King and the hour of judgment. Can any upheaval be as terrifying as the wrath of God? But even in that hour, Jesus expects us to trust Him so fully that we have no fear of judgment. Our faith in the Lord, who is Lord of the whole universe and who loves each one of us personally, this is the faith we have to proclaim to the world. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. Some will accept the faith, others will reject it and reject the messengers. Today we remember the 130,000 Christians in Vietnam who died for their faith in a series of persecutions between 1625 and 1886. Some were European missionaries, the rest Vietnamese. We especially remember Andrew Dung Lap and 116 others who were canonized. Until death, they bore witness amid horrendous tortures. They chose Jesus, not fear. How come so many of us choose fear? Fruit Each day, I receive messages full of fear and distress about what is happening. Do I forward such messages or do I speak up and suggest some kingdom-like way forward?